then. This is rather spooky. Oh well, typical fare around these parts, I suppose. Now then, hello everyone. This is Haruka, and this is the woman in the basement. Now then, I believe this is a visual novel horror game. The first visual novel that I've taken a look at on itch.io. So, with that said, let's see what this is all about, shall we? Oh, I should probably turn myself around for the text. Let's see here. Just... Boosh. And... There we go. Cleaning out my grandfather's home after his death was supposed to be a slow and steady trip through memory lane. Oh? But the moment I entered and flipped down the lights, my entire understanding of the world crashed to the floor. Here, in the basement. Anna? Well... The title certainly wasn't lying. Why am I here? Well, if you want to be philosophical about it, why are we here? That's what I want to know. Let me go, please, before he comes back. I shake my head slowly. There's no way my grandfather kidnapped some woman and kept her here. He is not that kind of person. And yet here I am. He died two weeks ago. How are you still alive? What are you talking about? Just unlock these handcuffs already and let me go. Or are you into it? Well, I might not be into it. Or maybe I could be. Ahem. Is this some sort of mind game? Oh no, darling. I just met you. Why would I commit mind games on someone such as yourself? Ahem. I stare at her for a moment, unsure. Well, explain yourself first off. I want to know who you are. You must be... Hmm. Fine. But Grandfather tricked me and kept me here because he was afraid of me. People demonize what they don't know. Well, this is surprisingly topical. But you're not like that, are you? What are you? I am beyond. And if you set me free... I can make the same for you, true. I have no grievances towards you, unlike your unfortunate lineage. I'll give you something in return for unlocking my chains. My! Is this going where I think it's going? Isn't this something you crave? World domination? <laughs> now then, think about it. The key is over there. I look toward the table. Well, she did offer us something in exchange for freedom, so we'll set you free, Miss Beyond. I walk back to her with the key in hand. Thank you so much. The lock and key are both a little rusty, so it goes in with trouble and twists even worse. But the click sounds out in the room, and the lock drops to the floor. You won't regret this, will you? I don't like the look on your face, ma'am. The light pops above us, and the chair topples. Oh dear, it appears we have made a grave error. Where did she go? That was easier than I thought it would be. Oh, I have become error. 
Let's play a game, little fool. If you win, I'll let you live. I'm going to count to 30. If I hear a peep out of you during that time, you lose. Ara? Ready? Let's begin. Oops, heard you. Well, you didn't even give me any time to react to that. How dare you? I see a flash of color, then I choke as something large impairs my torso from my spine to my chest. Expletive. She grabs my head, and the last thing I feel is a tear. Should have kept your head on your shoulders. Ha ha ha. Very funny. You could have at least given me some time to react to that. My goodness. And that's the first ending we got. Of three. I wonder what happens if we grab the knife. Well, we won't know until we try. So let's try. Hmm. Explain yourself first, yada yada yada. Ada ada ada. Grab the knife. Now that we know what we know. My hand passes over to the key to the desk below. A small knife. I don't know why my grandfather had her down here, but if she is so dangerous, I will clean up the problem. Just as I am cleaning the rest of his belongings. She looks at the knife. You don't want to do this. Oh, darling, trust me. Giving the seductive glare is my thing. You couldn't possibly pull it off if you tried. I don't know what you are, but I do know that my grandfather and I trust his judgment. You don't want to do this. If you even touch me with that, I will cause you harm unlike you have ever felt before. But you aren't. You can't. Not locked up. Or you would have done it already. Unending pain! I cannot die. And I will make sure you will not either. Endless torment as I peel off your skin and let it grow back. I... Don't touch me! The blade sinks into her stomach with ease. Did we just kill a demon woman? Because if so... Ha ha! That's revenge for taking my head off, hussy! She bites her lip and spits tar-like blood at me. You will regret this, I promise you. She hisses something under her breath. I slice her throat and she turns quiet. I step away from her body. I pull out my phone and, the and dial the last number I called. Hey, Mom? Yeah, he had another one in the basement. One down, how many to go? Ara? So we did just kill a demon woman. Interesting. But what's the third ending? And does it have to do with that bullshit minigame? Very well, then. I assume it does have to do with that minigame, so... I think I'll leave it here for the time being, actually. That was actually a, well, a really well done visual novel. Under 1,000 words as well. That said, however, if you lovely folks would like to play The Woman in the Basement, I will leave a link in the description below as always. And if you lovely folks enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and a comment and let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, my lovely subjects. <laughs>